to believe that he would ever be my God. Hello everyone. This is Tommy Sides, American Christian artist residing here in Mapumalanga, South Africa. And I thought I'd come back to you one more time before the election of 2016. Today is Monday, November 7th. So tomorrow, all across America, Americans will be voting for their next president. And I wanted to come to you and just one last time encourage everyone to pray and to fast for this election. Even if you watch this on uh, November 8th and you've even already voted, uh, you know, until the last polls close in Hawaii even, you know, <laughs> or California, you know, we just need to keep praying and, and believing God for a miracle. Um, we really want Donald Trump as our president. We really need Donald Trump. Amen. Praise God. So I just wanted to share with you a dream that God gave to me a few days ago. And... In the dream, uh, I saw Obama, the president of the United States, you know, President Obama, and he was fairly friendly, and he smiled, and he looked at me, and I, I had four newspapers in my hand uh, under my arm, and he happened to see the front page, and on the front page of those newspapers was uh, a pistol. A, uh, a gun, you know, and it had bolts in it on the side of the barrel so that it, it, it wasn't the kind of gun that that shoots real bullets. I, mean, I believe it was a spiritual gun. Anyway, he saw this, and there was a headline, which I don't remember what the headline said, but when Obama saw those, he said, let me see that. So he looked at the front page, and he looked over at me and he said, wow, you know, with, with a gun like this, um, you can easily get another 50 to 100 electoral votes in the upcoming election. And I was like, really? And he says, yeah. And uh, I was so, I think the shock of hearing that, <laughs> well, it woke me up, okay? So, you know, I woke up from the dream, but I, I, I was very vivid and... Um, so I told my wife, who's also in the prophetic ministry, and she said, you know, Tommy, those four newspapers most likely represent four states that really need prayer. And so we just really need to believe God for America. And the four states that came to my mind were Florida, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Those are four big states that Donald Trump really needs. And so those are the states I'm believing for those four newspapers. Praise the Lord. Also, I want uh, we're going to be in prayer here in a minute. Uh, I'll close this short little video with prayer. Um, other states that we really need to be in prayer for are Maine, New Hampshire, Virginia, Ohio, uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, you know, Trump just went there a couple days ago. He's believing for a miracle if he's going to Minnesota. And we're going to stand in the gap for him on that. Iowa, Colorado, Utah, Nevada, Texas, New Mexico. Some of these are leaning Republican, but you know, we don't want to take any chances, right? Uh, in Georgia. And I just want to encourage everybody, believe for one state that's really blue. Uh, just believe that God will do a miracle. My, my state that I'm believing God for is Washington State. I'm believing God for that state. Also, I want to be in prayer for all the Senate races, for all the Republicans to be returned to the Senate. Some of the ones that I hear are, are really close are in Indiana, Arizona, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Pat Toomey there. Florida, Marco Rubio there. And also, I came, came to my attention when they were talking recently about the North Carolina Senate race and also Trump, 
the they interviewed the uh, the governor of uh, of North Carolina, Pat McCrory, and he said he's having a real hard time getting reelected. And you know why? He said that George Soros has sunk millions of dollars into the North Carolina governor race. Can you imagine? George Soros, it seems like he's got his serpent head everywhere these days. He's also spending a lot of money trying to defeat Trump. So we need to plead the blood of Jesus on all of this. And I want to encourage everyone, too, to please pray for your own home state. Because that's where you, you have the most spiritual authority. Praise God. Got my trusty Bible with me. Praise the Lord. So, Lord Jesus, I just lay these states, and we pray for all 50 states, Lord Jesus, all 50 states of the United States, Lord God, we come before you, Lord Jesus, and, but we also fervently ask for these states that I've written down, Lord Jesus, we're just asking you for a miracle, we're asking you for a big win for Donald Trump, we plead the blood of Jesus over every voting machine, that if they've been tampered with for voting fraud, that, Lord God, you will just rectify that. Send down your, your holy angels from heaven, Lord God. Send down your angels, that your intervention angels, Lord God. Those angels that intervene. Lord God, we just pray that also that as people go into the voting booths, some of them are really undecided. We pray your Holy Spirit will just go into the voting booths with them, Lord God. Your, your holy angels will be standing there. Um, protecting the areas of the voting. And I just pray, Lord God, that you will touch the people to vote for Trump, Lord God. And I just pray, Lord God, that some of the people that are going in there to vote for Hillary or to vote for Jill Stein or, you know, Johnson, I think it's Gary Johnson. Lord God, some of these people are, are dead set against Trump, but I just pray that at the last minute, You'll just, they won't even know why, but they'll just tick off um, Donald Trump in the name of Jesus. And you know, folks, I'm believing God to work outside the box. That's why I'm praying prayers like this, because we've got a candidate in Donald Trump who's outside the box. Amen? And so we can, we can believe God for, for, for things that are outside the box. Our God, our holy God, you know, he looks at our hearts. And if you can think up something to pray in support of Donald Trump and in support of the election, um, and you've got the right heart attitude, I'm sure that the Lord God will be more than happy to, to help you in that and to stand with you. Because God is looking for us to be, to be believers. You know, Jesus said when he comes back on the earth, will he find faith on the earth? God works through our faith. Think of that. And when we speak words, he listens. So right now, Lord Jesus, we just believe that you're going to do miracles for Donald Trump. We pray for an avalanche. We pray for uh, a landslide election. Lord God, I, w I just pray that the word avalanche will be on some of the major newspapers, Lord God, in, for Donald Trump. Lord God, I just pray for that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So praise God, I just hope that uh, the next video I, I make, uh, you, some of you might be wondering what this is. This is a shofar, which is actually, I've, I've uh, produced an album here in South Africa, and it's a Christian album, and this shofar, among others, is on the album. It's, this shofar is on track 18. I've got 18 tracks on my album. It's called... Of all things, stranded no more. And that's what America is going to be. Amen. We just need to believe God that, that America will be stranded no more and that we will be stranded no more. Because with faith in God, we're not ever stranded. Amen. You know, if you have real faith in the Lord, then you, you understand that you're never abandoned. God is never abandoning in us. Sometimes we feel like we're abandoned, but then we just need to look up. We need to stay in the Word. We need to stay in the Word. We need to be strong. So I just want to encourage you to check out the album. It's on iTunes and Amazon.com and many other sites. 
You can actually see my profile on cdbaby.com. Uh, you can learn more about me and the music. Stranded, the song, is number two on the album. It's probably the most anointed. There's something for everyone on this album. There's Christian rock, you know, classic rock, jazz, country. Stranded is more of a uh, country song. So I just wanted to share that with you. Praise God. And so the next time that I'm videotaping uh, a message concerning this election, you're going to hear this horn uh, blow. I'm going to blow this shofar if Trump's elected. Maybe I should blow it even if Hillary's elected because you know that shofars also scare away a lot of demons. So maybe that's what I'll be doing the next time you see me. I love you guys. God bless. Keep our ministry here in South Africa in prayer, okay? We really need you to hold us up also in prayer. Love you all. God bless. Yes, and I does miracles. I'll be home at last.